Hey everybody! Hello City Kids! Today we are wrapping up our series on the Proverbs. And we are also wrapping up these videos. Like we said before, City Kids is going to keep posting videos every week, but it's not going to be just us anymore. Yep, we will show up sometimes, but you have lots of other City Kids teachers who miss talking to you about all this important stuff, so we're going to give them a turn. So it's pretty great that City Church is finishing a series this week. That means we get to finish up with the Proverbs, and then the next series will be starting a whole new thing. Yep, today Pastor Dan will be preaching on Proverbs 4.11 and 20-27. to We're going to read just the beginning part of that. Andrew? <clears throat> I have taught you the ways of wisdom. I have led you in the path of uprightness. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. So that's what we're saying today. Mm -hmm. We have looked at the Proverbs and worked to teach y'all the way of wisdom as God has laid it out in the Bible before us. So what have we helped teach this summer? Super quick lightning round review time! Yay! <laughs> First, we talked about righteousness, justice, and equity. Righteousness is doing what's right. Justice is working to make wrong things into right things. Mm -hmm. And equity is knowing that sometimes people will need different amounts of attention and help to get to an equal place. Next, we talk about using our power for good. Where we learn to make sure we're using what God has given us to make sure other people are treated by it like beloved children of God. Then we learn to trust God and not lean on our own understanding. Because we don't know nearly as much as God does. After that, we learned how to have conflict in the right way. To be loving and gracious and understanding instead of mean and bitter and gossipy. And then we learned about following the path that God sets for us. And how... We can have God in our hearts, and then our desires can match his. And we learned about eating too many chicken wings. Which was really learning about how it's important to take the wisdom we're given. And if we don't, we'll likely suffer under our own bad decisions. Yeah, I mean that too. Uh, we learned about envy. And how it's a sin to spend our lives thinking of thinking what other people have is better than what we have. Because God isn't being spiteful and keeping good things from us. Then we talked about how sometimes that envy can make us angry, and then we sin in anger. Yes, but anger isn't bad in and of itself. We can get angry at bad things like injustice, but we shouldn't be quick-tempered. The next week, we talked about how it's bad to try to fulfill ourselves with stuff. We know that God is the only thing that can fulfill us. We learn not to find security in money. When God is our security. And then how our parents should value us as much as God does. And we should respect our parents as they teach us God's wisdom. Finally, last week, we learned to be humble. And follow the example of humility that Jesus showed us. Whew, that is a lot of lessons from Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Why are we reviewing them all again this week? Well, it's the end of the series on wisdom of Proverbs. And we wanted to remind you what wisdom is and why it's important to know and remember all of these things. That's right. We need to hold these things in our hearts and know what's right. Because the world is going to show us a lot of things that aren't right. There's a lot of bad stuff in the world and a lot of people who, who will try to convince us that bad things are good things. The Bible is great because it helps us not to have to figure out what's good and bad based on our own thoughts and feelings, but based on God, who is goodness itself. Mm -hmm. We have all this wisdom to keep in our hearts and help us make the right choices based on these principles we've learned this summer. And we'll continue learning from other books of the Bible, too. Let's pray about keeping this wisdom in our hearts. Mm -hmm. Andrew? Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the opportunity to get together in these videos and to learn about your wisdom. Alyssa and I are so happy that we've gotten to make these videos for City Kids. We are so grateful to have your word teach us what's right and how to treat ourselves and others. Please help us to guard our hearts against the bad things and bad influences in the world. Thank you that you've given us good things that are so, so, so much better than any of those bad things we might be tempted towards. Help us keep reading our Bibles and learning from you and from each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
Amen. Well, city kids, this is our 24th video for you. Ooh. We've really, really loved making these mm -hmm. and thinking about how to get to the point of the Proverbs in five to seven minutes each. It's helped us learn and remember God's wisdom as much as it's hopefully helped y'all. We love you guys, and we hope to see you sometime soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.